We're now going to go ahead and create the individual pages for our categories. Since categories are fetched from the check API, there's no way to know right now what each of those pages are. So we need to create a template for each of these category pages. So inside of a new folder, templates, we'll create the file categoryPage.js. We'll import React and the GraphQL tag helper from Gatsby. We'll then go ahead and import the product list component because on each of the category pages, we also want to show the products that belong to that category. Then let's go ahead and export a default function and we'll call this category page. We'll need to destructure some data in just a sec, but for now, let's return a React fragment. And in H1, we'll add the category name. And then below the H1, we will render our product list and pass in the products that belong to our category. Now, where exactly does the category and products come from? Well, like we've done previously by exporting a page query, we can do the same in this template. However, the query is going to look a little different. The query will be named and it will have some parentheses. And inside of these parentheses will be the variables we'll use in the query. And the variable we are concerned about here is an ID, which is of type string and it's non-nullable. We'll then make a request to the check category and we'll filter and fetch the check category where the ID is equal to the ID we pass in. We're also using GraphQL aliasing to alias check category to category. We'll then get the ID, name, products, the product name, permalink, and the price info. Then all that's left to do is inside of the category page component, destructure from the arguments, the data, and inside of there, we will destructure category. Then inside of our function, we'll destructure products from our category. And then everything should just work as is. Now this file alone will not do anything right now. We need to tell Gatsby to use this template for every single category that it fetches. So inside of a new file called Gatsby node.js, we need to export a asynchronous function called create pages. And this is specially named, it ties into the Gatsby API, but we need to destructure from the arguments, GraphQL and actions. From the actions, we'll then again destructure create page and we'll use this to create each of our pages. But first of all, let's go ahead and create a query. And we can use the GraphQL function here and we can pass in a query and we can destructure from those results, the all check category from the data. So like we've queried before, we'll get all check category, but this time we only need the ID and the slug. Then for each of our all check categories, then for each of our all, and then for each of our category nodes, we'll iterate through all of those and we'll pluck the ID and slug, and then we'll call the create page function. Create page accepts a path to the file in which it needs to create. And we've been linking to slash categories slash slug in our other files. So this is where we will actually create that page. Then we need to resolve a file for the component. And we created the template called category page inside of the templates folder. Then finally, we need to pass the context and the context will be the ID. And the ID here is what is passed to the page query. So when I said the query was special inside of the category page, I meant it. Here, the ID is passed from the Gatsby node. And then if we rerun the server, you'll see when you click on a category, you will get all of the category pages and their products.